Hello, my name is Albert. I'm a heritage and school specialist and I love biodiversity and I love insects. My name is Howie. Uh, Harry too loves insects as well. Today we want to introduce you to the wonderful and amazing world of moths. Moths are really good pollinators. They are uh, food for bats and they're also at this time of year caterpillars for all the hungry chicks. So we use one of these to catch moths which is a light trap. The moths are attracted to the light here and we'll just take away one of the sides and they slide down the plastic and they end up here under the egg cartons and they shelter there during the day. Keep a watch out for these dramatic poplar hawk moths, one of our biggest species and I think also one of our most beautiful. Why don't you count the dots on the white ermine? See how many you can find. We can really help moths in our garden by allowing areas like this here to grow long vegetation full of native grasses and flowers. So why not for Heritage Week leave some of your grassy areas grow along for the caterpillars of moths. If you don't have a trap, what you can do is you can get a nice white sheet, place it over your clothesline or a tree and put a light at the back and shine it and what happens then is the moths come to the light and we have one here already that came along earlier this evening we have the lovely buff ermine so this is a great way to see and discover and learn about the moths that are in your garden or school if you do identify any moths please log on your records to moths ireland or the national biodiversity data center we have huge gaps in our knowledge of even the commonest species of moths and of course on a summer's evening like this please do sit out in your garden enjoy nature enjoy wildlife and keep your eye out for the amazing world of moths